So what now? Feels good to see you, actually. It felt like I was a little alone there for a while. Well, alone with Troy, which is worse. What do you expect for a new superstar? Besides, I wanted to see how you did on your own, sink or swim. And this is swimming? I should say so. I meant what I said before. You have free reign and creative control from here on out. So get out there, be bold, make mistakes. I'll cover you with upper management, whatever happens. How do I get started? Oh, so now you want guidance from management? I don't know. Talk to the other veteran superstars you admire and see where your experiences lead you. And remember, this isn't an opportunity everyone is so lucky to receive. You're going to want to take some big swings if you want to make the most of this. What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm, maybe a different brand then. Sure, show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Oh, man. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Paying it right back with a reversal. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Oh, boy. Kendo stick in hand. Nefarious look in her eyes. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. 
She kicks out in one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. She saw that one coming. Oh, oh a tackle. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Big boot on the mark. And Zelina can't stop any offense coming her way. Yeah, some flaws in Zelina's game plan are being exposed. <laughs> Steered clear of that. Fistfuls of hair into the snapmare. Oh my god, this is just nasty. Bad uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Measured knee drop. Knee to the midsection. Uh-oh. Zelina gets out of harm's way. Ooh, answer that with a stiff knee. triple threat and boy did Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off.
It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're gonna be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So we're associated now? Shut up. A leader in or out of the ring. The captain. Here comes... The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. A huge target on the knee after that. Spear! Spear! The scoop slam sets things up. She steers clear of that one. And she had Baszler scouted. She's taking things to ringside. Off the barricade. Forearm smash. Boy, you're a pin uppercut. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Tossed back into the ring. Oh, a clothesline! Not done yet. Another one! On my trace. Punishing boot. She manages to get control. Eat the feet. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. And Shayna experiencing a bit more fight there than she may have expected coming into this match. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Can they go on the attack? She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Oh, Murphy tackle. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Spear! Oh, gosh. Oh, 
Knee to the midsection into the pump handle. Here we go. X Factor. Boom. Baszler avoiding attack. Comes back into the ring. Nobody likes you. Whoa. Couldn't protect yourself from the knee there. Countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Bang! Uh-oh. Full mount, hammer fists, striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. Look at this, deadlifting their opponent into a, a gun red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another. A second gun. Wrist clutch applied. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Spear! Taking it outside the ring now. Hoist the Hoist all the way up. K.O.D. Bad spot for the Queen of Spades. Great counter by Baszler. Delivers the knee. Oh, foot just stomping down. Baszler setting her sights and lining her up. She throws her back in. Count out a minute. She needs to get back in. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. You people, 
Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and like a trained monkey, entertain a WWE universe who may buy the shirts and cheer for their favorite superstars in the ring, but just don't get it. For you, this is a temporary distraction from your pathetic existences and your sad towns, but this is my life. I refuse to be the lapdog of some mark slurping a sugary drink in section 432. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. I'm done catering to the ungrateful WWE universe. And now, I'm gonna make it my mission to destroy the whole precious WWE machine you all blindly love. Because you... You deserve nothing. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for what we do for those ungrateful people, the WWE universe. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. her WWE debut. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, Carly Prime! Prime has her work cut. Here's the captain, accompanied to the ring by Rhea Ripley. Representing the bloodline from West Hollywood, California, Unforgiven Jane Baker! Carly Prime might be a former D1 athlete, but is she ready for the sheer violence of the cap with Rhea Ripley in her ear? Let me answer that for you, Cole. No. Carly Prime might be in over her head tonight, fellas. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're going to need it. And that definitely made solid impact. Uh-oh, we know what's next. Pedigree! Counters that. 
Uh, flat out power here. Three squats, then a power slam. Off into the pin. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. She adjusts it and reverses it. This superstar looking to put this thing away. Pedigree! Oh, man. <laughs> Trying to put them away, able to counter. Countered with a vicious clothesline. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Don't do it. Oh, just completely off target there. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Hoist it all the way up. KLD lays eyes on Carly now. Pin attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. Cover. I'm still not sure what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the Cap. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? You're apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure. There she is, my favorite superstar. What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? 
What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought, maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. I... will try. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. Of what message? That, due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. We've got a last minute change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three-time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming, everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one, what the hell? What was that all about? Can we get some help out here? Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. I don't know how you did things back at TBD, but here in WWE, we show a little respect to those men and women who paved the way. You're just saying that because you consider yourself one of them. Feel free to lick whoever's boots you like. 
Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE fans are dumb enough to still want to watch some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I am happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Fine. Why don't I grab Rhea Ripley and we make it a foursome? She and I can kill two old birds with one stone. Huh, we'll see. Those two old birds will be very happy to wipe that smug smile off your face. See you in the ring.